a hillside dotted with tin roofs on the outskirts of Kathmandu. This is where a few hundred people from the Muslim Rohingya community have managed to find refuge. They have been coming here in small numbers since 2012, escaping the violence in their home country, Myanmar. There are 147 Rohingyas who have been verified and 100 more have applied to the UN for asylum. Sajida Begum came three weeks ago with her husband and three children. She told us their village was burned, her friends raped and killed. Two of her friends died when a landmine exploded near Myanmar's border with Bangladesh. I can't sleep at night. I wonder where death is coming from. Sajida has been holding on to the identity papers given to her by the Myanmar government and hopes she can find a place she can call home. But Nepal has not signed the UN Convention on Refugees. As far as Nepal is concerned, these Rohingya refugees officially don't exist. But while they don't have any legal status here, they are not persecuted and are left in peace. Only the most vulnerable, sick people and children, are getting support from the UN's refugee agency, UNHCR. The refugees had to rent this place of land to live. There are no toilets here, and the recent arrivals are living in poor conditions in the monsoon season. The UN's refugee agency says, in the absence of national refugee legislation, UNHCR provides protection and assistance to refugees and asylum seekers from 10 different countries and is continuing to explore ways to enhance their self-reliance as a sustainable solution and alternative to direct assistance. That means refugees have been finding unofficial work, building local houses. Without paperwork, they get significantly less than Nepali workers. While we were around, Nuru Jahana, a 23-year-old, showed us a picture. Her sister and her grandmother are missing. She has no idea where they are. Nuru Jahana's brother, who arrived here a month ago, showed us some pictures, graphic images of villages burning, people being killed, and children drowning. Those without a mother know the importance of a mother's love. Only those without a country know what it is to love a country. A love, these people say, has given them nothing but heartbreak. Sabina Shreshta, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.